Uh, good, after, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Michael Victor, uh, Head of Communications and Knowledge Management at ORI. I'm unfortunately a poor substitute for the person who was supposed to speak uh, for this uh, Delia Grace, who is really one of the, the leading figures, as you guys know, in uh, zoonotic disease and in food safety. Uh, and we just wanted to quickly kind of talk about uh, a new book that came out early this year on the impacts of uh, you know, ILRI's and partners research uh, on kind of livestock and zoonotic disease and whatnot. Uh, so the impact of International Livestock Research Institute is a book that spans about 40 years of research at ILRI. You know, uh, ILRI was comprised of uh, the ILRAD and ILCA, uh, the two institutions, one based in Ethiopia and one based in, uh, in Nairobi, which combined in, I think it was about 1992. So it's, it's both those research, how they combined in about 1990 and moved on. And uh, this is really the, the first evidence-based global estimate of many of the, the work that had been done by uh, ILRI and its partners. And it really kind of documents in, not just an institutional history, so it just doesn't tell the story of ILRI and how it evolved, but really tells, you know, gives the first evidence base for uh, some of the major developments that happened within ILRI uh, and the impacts of its research. And here's the book. It's really good for doing curls if you need to do because it's very heavy. Uh, and I, you know, I've read it. You know, it doesn't put me to sleep too much. I had to read it and I've had to use it for certain things. And if you are a researcher in livestock, and you know, that spans all these four areas, you know, animal genetics, production, and human health, primary production, tropical livestock systems and policies, and the future of livestock research but it spans a whole range of uh, disciplines around livestock production from the animal and human health side all the way to the genetic side. And yeah, if you're interested in this, it's, it's really a good read in terms of how a lot of the, the issues have evolved over the years and we'll take you through some of those, but there's a lot of uh, related to One Health, there's a lot of chapters and uh, there's something on the control of pathogens and per particularly in uh, trypanomyces, did I say that right? Trypano, yeah, okay, that. <laughs> it's kind of sound like Trump or something, you know, we're trying to pronounce that one. Uh, yeah, uh, but you, you know, there's, there's that on the CTC, on the impact assessment of immunology and immunoparasitology, transboundary animal disease, zoonosis, and food safety. And I think this really shows the antecedents of One Health and how kind of One Health has emerged. And, you know, that was the story that I read when we started talking particularly about zoonosis and food safety and nutrition. You really see how we move from a more of a kind of a sectoral approach to a One Health approach. So that was quite interesting. So, you know, the chapter on zoonosis really kind of provides the, you know, you know, kind of the antecedents where we did the first kind of global synthesis on the impacts of zoonotic disease. Uh, we look at the global burden of animal disease uh, and really outlines kind of the issues of how, you know, moving from zoonotic disease towards zoonotic research and then into uh, veterinary and one health approaches. So again, it really, that, that section is quite interesting and, uh, and it's something that you could really see the kind of trajectory evolution of zoonotic disease research and how that has moved into one health uh, approaches. Next slide. Uh, and again, the other one that, you know, is really interesting is food safety and nutrition and where we've had a lot of impacts, uh, you know, and, you know, a lot of stuff there as well, looking at foodborne disease and the global burden of animal disease as well. Uh, so I'm not going to go into this too much because I'm not a uh, specialist in this. Next slide. Uh, so if you want to find it, it's, you know, we, we have selected number of copies of this. Uh, and you could find it online as well. So you just go to the go to ilri.org and ilri research impact, and we can put that into the chat. Uh, I think Christina has, and you can download the book for uh, free, the whole book or different chapters. Uh, you can find it on Twitter if you follow ilri or uh, 45 years of impact. And again, if you want to get further information on different chapters, you can contact uh, the people on this list. So that's it. Thank you very much.